factorize 6x square minus 5x minus 6. We are given 6x square minus 5x minus 6. If you can factorize this, what we have to note is that we have 1, 2, 3 terms in this question. So before we can factorize it, we have to make sure that these three terms now tends to four terms, right? We can change it to four terms. And if you can do that, what we are going to do is, first, we will multiply the coefficient of the x square. What I mean is this 6, okay? We multiply the coefficient of the x square, which is 6, by the constant number in this question. The results that we will get, we will find two factors from that result which can be added or subtracted to get the coefficient of the x, I mean the 5. Let me repeat. If we can get four terms out of this, okay, what we are going to do is we multiply coefficient of this x square, which is 6, by the constant number, which is negative 6, the results we will get, we will find two factors from that result which can be added or subtracted to get the coefficient of x, that is the negative 5. So now let's do that. 6 multiplied negative 6 gives us what? Negative 36, right? Let's find the factors of negative 36. Now the factors of negative 36 will be plus or minus, meaning 1 will be positive positive one will be negative, right? Will be plus or minus one is a factor, two is a factor, three, four, six. I hope you are following. We have nine, we have 12, we have 18, we have 36 itself, right? So these are the numbers that can be multiplied to get this um negative 36. So just negate one of them and then make one of them positive. So now that we've had these results and we've seen the factors of negative 36, which of them can we add or subtract to get negative 5, which is the coefficient of x? Which of them? The ones that we have are 4 and then 9. So how will we get the negative 5? We will negate the bigger one, right? That is 4 minus 9 will give us what? Negative 5. And the same 4 multiplying negative 9 will give us what? Negative 36. I hope you get me. So the numbers that we are going to take are 4 and then negative 9. Since we are going to write this in place of the negative 5x, you write x here and then you write x here too. So now our algebraic expression becomes 6x squared plus 4x minus 9x minus 6. Now we have 1, 2, 3, 4 terms. Now having these 4 terms, you can group them into 2. You take the first 2, you talk about them, you take the second 2, you talk about them, right? So considering the first two terms, you have 6 and then 4. Is there a certain number which can divide 6 and at the same time divide 4? What I mean is the common factors of 6 and then 4. We have 2, right? 2 can divide 6, 2 can also divide 4, so you write it. We also have x squared, we have x, so it means x is common to this term. So you write x. Okay, now you open a bracket. So you divide this first term, 6x squared, by the common factor 2x. Now 6 divided 2 is what? 3. x squared divides x will be resulted in what? x. So it means that over here, we have 3x left. I hope you get me. Now let's take the second term. 4x, you divide by the common factor that we had here, 2x. So 4 divides 2 gives us what? 2. x divides x will be 1. So it means that 1 multiplied 2 is 2. So that means the value left here is what? 2. And that one is positive. So we have 2 here. 
minus they can divide nine three can divide six as well right so you write your three now we have x here there is no x here so you open your brackets now this negative nine you divide it by the common factor okay so negative nine divided by the common factor three negative divides negative nine divide three will be what three so you write your three now x is left here you add it we have negative six left here divided by negative three now negative divides negative now it's positive right six divides three give us what two so you write your positive two here Now you see that we have common terms here. We have 3x plus 2 in this bracket. We also have the same 3x plus 2 in this bracket. So what you're going to do is you write one of them, okay? In one bracket, you group it 3x plus 2. Then you write those outside the two brackets to in one group. So we have 2x minus 3. So 3x plus 2 multiplying 2x minus 3 becomes the factorized form of 6x squared minus 5x minus 6.